just use fire. Uh, in the first example, I dip and throw like a wooden weapon. Just aim it at like the crack in the floor. You will find these flowers, you can also throw them, just be aware that you're gonna be on fire, I suppose. They will lit up everything. Something over there. You can also use fireball if you have like the mage. The last <laughs> now this is how I solved the mystery of Lariat way of like interpreting D&D. I wasted almost an hour because I brute forced it the first time and I didn't want to like leave it like that. So I made made the obvious work, like, choice. So I bought a physical copy, official copy of Descending to Avernus. Turns out the game's not based on this. It is kind of based on this, it's not like Kingmaker. So I searched for the film set and it keeps zero results. Then I searched for poisons and it keeps zero results. And it re redirects you to like the Dungeon Master Guide. So I made the obvious choice again. This is my official, like, physical copy of the Dungeons and Dragons uh, Dungeon Master Guide. And the poisons are on chapter 8, that's 258. It tells you nothing at all. It, it simply gives you examples on how to create poisons for your adventure. And it tells you that there are fumes. So, you didn't tell me anything. I just brute forced, like, that segment. And then I realized that fire was putting off, like, the fumes for some reason instead of water. If you play Divinity 2, it's usually water. Uh, turns out it's fire on this one. You can brute force it with potions of fire and healing. That's why the cleric has the AOE eclipse, I think. So I simply just brute force it. 